hello. I'm going to have you start off in a comfortable seated position just to bring yourself to your practice, to the breath. Um, I'm not too particular on how you're sitting onto the mat, just as long as you find a connection and a way to anchor the sit bones down. You can let the hands rest on the thighs, to the side, or even inside on the lap. Bringing yourself up to a nice straight spine, crown of the head reaches high. Bring the ears back in line with the shoulders so you create some extension in the back of the neck. And then let's bring ourselves to this practice with three deep cycles of breath. So just take a transitional breath here. And then we'll take a nice deep inhale into the nose. Exhale out through the nose or sigh it out. Inhale in. Exhale out. One more nice collective breath, inhale in. Exhale out. Then on these next few cycles of breath, maybe suss around a little bit and find some movement, just little subtle movement, and then re-anchor in, re-ground in so that you can start finding a rate and depth of breath that will work for you. So once you find that stability, I want you to just softly lower the eyelids. Don't close them all the way. And then find a spot to focus the gaze. And find the spot where you can keep the spine nice and long in the back of the neck, that you're not looking up or down. And then drop into your breath. Don't judge it. Don't try to control it right now. Just drop in. All right, then slowly try to elongate the inhale, keep the soft gaze. And have a nice, slow, steady exhale. See if you can continue elongating the cycles of breath. Okay, so your gaze is looking forward nice and soft. And I want you to slowly take your nice inhale in. Imagine that you're drawing the energy up. And then as you exhale, exhale forward. So it'll feel like a subtle like drawing up and then a curl out, almost like a reverse wave, if that makes sense. And just try to keep the steady flow in mind because in tonight's practice, there'll be a little bit of going back and forth. And then 
try to find a rhythm that works best for you. So you may notice that you need to shorten or lengthen this breath. All right, let's practice this a little bit. Come into an easy pose. Palms on the thighs, nice long straight spine. And just take a transitional breath here. And then as you inhale, pull the sternum forward, look on up, give a little hyperextension to the neck, seated cow. And then as you in, exhale, chin into chest, round the back into your seated cat. Then find the cow on the inhale. Cat on the exhale. And let's continue this. Now find your rhythm here. And then let's just do about two more. And then find yourself sitting, coming up nice and tall. All right, reach the arms up high towards the sky. Set the left hand down, keep the right hand high. Take a nice full inhale here and then slowly take it over to the left side as you exhale. One more breath. And then as you inhale, bring the right arm up and down to the right side and then lift the left arm up high. Take your full inhale and then send it over to the right side as you exhale. One more breath. This time I want you to sweep the left arm in front of you. Let the right arm slowly follow and come up and across the right ear. So then you're back in that seated flexion. Great, take a nice full inhale here. And then as you exhale, let's send it over to the right. So sweep the right arm up in front of you and then the left arm comes up and over. So then you start finding a rhythm here. Take a nice full inhale in, exhale, sweep the left arm in front of you, reach the right arm up and over. Yes, all right, start flowing here. Stay on the flexion for the inhale. Sweep across as you exhale. And then you flow back and forth. Let's go about two more times so you can feel yourself get into a rhythm. And then when you finish up, I want you to just find yourself folded down the middle so that way both arms can come down, finding a seated forward fold. And you can walk yourself up to a point that feels good or walk yourself down. Let's stay here for two more breaths. Last breath. 
And then with ease, walk yourself up. Awesome. All right, I want you to take the left leg out to like the 10, 11 o'clock spot and then take the right leg out to about the two o'clock, three o'clock spot if this was a clock. And then um, sometimes I like to use my hands as fists behind to lift and tilt the hips and kind of adjust any love. So I feel even and grounded. And then point the toes towards the face and then away. And then towards the face in a way. You're just kind of warming up the hamstrings here a little bit. Point the toes towards the face in a way. Maybe about one more time towards the face and then away. And then the toes point up towards the sky. All right, um, I'm gonna go a little bit wider here. Reach your arms up high. And then I want you to rotate your torso over your right leg, right toes point up, and then fold over your right leg. So you can place the palms on the outside, or sorry, the right palm on the outside, left palm on the inside of the right leg. On the next exhale, maybe fold a little bit deeper and start pointing the toes a little bit closer towards the face, just giving a bit of elongation in the back of the legs. And um, you might be feeling it as well in the low back. One more breath here. And then keep the right arm to the outside of the right leg. Sweep the left arm up and over and slowly start guiding the sternum up towards the sky. And then take your nice full inhale. And as you exhale, find yourself folded down the middle. And when you're folded down the middle, maybe you slowly point both sets of toes away from the face. And then bring the toes back up towards the ceiling carefully, walk yourself up nice and tall. Cool, let's stay here and settle. Reach the arms up high towards the sky and then rotate over the left leg. And as you exhale, fold over the left leg, leave the left toes pointed up towards the sky. Oh, don't forget about the right toes. Make sure they're pointed up as well. Keep the right leg engaged. And then maybe as you exhale, you fold a little bit deeper, bring the left toes a little bit closer to the face. And then take your full inhale and as you exhale, reach the right arm up and over the right ear. R rotate the sternum up towards the ceiling or the sky. Then I want you to take a nice full inhale and as you exhale, sweep yourself down the middle. And then it's your choice. Do you wanna point the toes away or closer to the face or maybe a little bit of both? And then carefully walk yourself up nice and tall. Cool. All right, just zip the legs together really quickly. Move the legs up and down, side to side. And then make your way onto, or yeah, into a tabletop pose. First thing to ground after the sit bones into your mat. So, you know, knees are underneath the hips, 
palms are underneath the shoulders. You can pat the tops of the feet onto the mat and then just come into a few traditional cat cows here, dropping the belly, tucking the toes under, squeezing the scapulas together, looking on up. And then as you exhale, rounding the back, chin in the chest, tops of the feet, touch the mat into your cat. And then find your cow on the inhale. And cat on the exhale. And you can stay with the traditional cat cows or you can make the C shapes with the spine. Whatever your preference is, but see if you can, or not even see, but try if you can connect the breath with the movement again. A little bit in that wave cycle. Do about two more breaths. And then find your tabletop pose. Tuck under your toes, walk the palms forward a little bit, lift the knees and then shift the hips up towards the sky for downward dog. Find any movement. If you wanna play around with taking the feet as wide as the mat, you can. I'll cue different foot positions in downward dog, but if I don't feel good about taking feet, hips, distance, or as wide as the mat. Okay, find traditional down dog, feet, hips, distance apart. As you inhale, I want you to slowly shift into your plank pose. And as you exhale, lift the hips back into your downward dog. As you inhale, find your plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale into plank. Exhale into down dog. Last time, inhale into your plank pose. Hold and keep breathing. One more breath. And then lower down onto your mat. All right, palms underneath the shoulders, lift the chin, lift the chest, find your cobra pose. And then as you release, slowly push back up into tabletop and then downward dog. One more breath here. And then take your full inhale in, walk your feet towards the back of the hands as you exhale, forward fold. And then take a hold of opposite elbows here and just find your ragdoll pose. Bending the knees as generously as you would like. And then release the arms. Find your halfway lift here. Fold forward. And then with the feet planted, give a slight bend to the knees. Reach the arms up high towards the sky. Fingers spread nice and wide. And then bring them down to the side, mountain pose. Cool. All right. Reach the arms up as you inhale, slight back bend if you would like, and then as you exhale, spill forward. <sighs> Halfway lift, plant the palms, step back into your plank pose, and then slowly lower down. 
find the back bend that's working for you. And then push back into downward dog. Three more breaths. Two. One. Take your full inhale in. Walk your feet towards the back of the hands, forward fold. Halfway lift. Fold. Reach your arms up high towards the sky, fingers spread nice and wide. Fold forward. Halfway lift. All right, from here, I want you to step the right foot back, high runner's lunge. And then coming back into the cat cow pose again, find the cat or the cow back. So bend the left knee, maybe let the right knee drop down, look on up. And then when it comes time for the cat pose, slowly start straightening the left leg, reach the right heel back around the back. All right, and I want you to flow again. So find the cow back, low lunge, maybe let the right knee drop. Cat back, nice little hamstring stretch for you, rounding the back, spread the scapulas. All right, three more times. Two. Last time. And then this time I want you to come back into that low of that lunge with the cow back and stay. And as you exhale, slowly shift back into the cat back, straight legs, breath here. And then with ease, find your high runner's lunge. Spin the right heel down and then come up on the fingertips and then slowly find your warrior one. All right, bring the arms behind you, interlace your fingers, slide the shoulders down and away from the ears. Take your nice full inhale and as you exhale, find your humble warrior. So left elbow to the inside of the left knee. You can let the fists go up towards the ceiling or let them stay towards the low back. Keep pushing down through the feet. One more big breath here, nice full inhale and exhale. And then use your inhale to bring yourself up. Arms come up high and then open up to your warrior two as you exhale. Look out over your strong left fingers, keep the bend strong in the knee. All right. Take your full inhale. As you exhale, drop the left hand to the inside of the left foot. Right hand comes up high towards the sky. Next inhale, right hand comes to the back of the right thigh. Left hand is high towards the sky, peaceful warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Left hand comes down, right arm comes up high. Inhale, peaceful warrior, right hand to the back of the thigh, left hand high to the sky. All right, here we go. Just a few more times, left hand down, right hand high. Peaceful warrior. All right, two more times. Stay strong. Last time. And then meet in your warrior two. Big breath here. And then cartwheel your hands down. 
Left foot steps back to right foot, plank pose. And then slowly and carefully take it through the flow. Meet in downward dog or take a child's pose. Two more breaths. Last big breath here. And then plant the right foot, lift the left leg behind you, three-legged dog. And then bring the left foot through to the hands, high runner's lunge. And then I want you to slowly guide the right knee down and then shift the bum back towards the right heel. So the left heel can be engaged. Left toes are high towards the sky. All right, take your nice full inhale in here. Left toes are high or they're pointing towards the face. And then as you exhale, fold over your left leg. Um, if you want a little bit more, you can reach the right hand towards the outside of the left foot. One more big breath here. And then use your inhale to slowly shift back into your low lunge. Tuck under the right toes, lift the right knee. And then set the right heel down and shift back into your pyramid pose. So the back of the left leg is getting a little bit of extra length here. And then bend into the left knee. Step the right foot to meet the left foot forward fold. Halfway lift. Fold forward, feet rooted, reach up, rise up, arms come up high towards the sky. Fold forward. Halfway lift. This time your left foot will step back. High runner's lunge. All right, find your foundation and your grounding and then slowly start lowering the left knee down as you look on up into your cow back. And then as you exhale, bring the right leg back, round the back into your cat back. All right, four more times, flowing here. Three more. Two more. Last one. And then we'll meet in the exaggerated cow back pose. Left knee maybe hovering a little bit. And then release on back into the cat pose, back pose. And then high runner's lunge. Spin the left heel down, come up on the fingertips. And then as you inhale, reach up warrior one. Bring the arms behind you, interlace the fingers, look on up, nice full inhale here. And then as you exhale, Right shoulder to the inside of the right knee, humble warrior. Fist to the low back or high towards the sky. And then rooting down with your strong feet, bring yourself back up on the inhale. Open up to warrior two as you exhale. All right, get your foundation here. All right, right hand to the inside of the right leg, 
Left arm is high towards the sky. All right, find your peaceful warrior. Left hand back, right hand high, bend strong in the right knee. All right, here we go, four more times. Find your flow, find your rhythm. Right hand down, left hand high, and then peaceful warrior. Three more. Two more. Last one. And then meet in your warrior two. Stay strong. And then take your full inhale. And as you exhale, cartwheel the arms down. Right foot meets left foot plank pose. And then carefully take it through your flow. Two more breaths. And then leave the left foot planted as you reach the right leg high towards the sky and then step the right foot through to the hands, high runner's lunge. Guide the left knee down and then shift the hips back towards the left heel so the right foot can, right toes can come up, right heel is planted. Come up nice and tall and then fold over the right leg. Once again, if you want, you can take the left hand to the outside of the right foot. Toes can point towards or away from the face. One more breath. And then as you exhale, slowly walk yourself back into your low lunge, tuck under the left toes, lift the left knee, and then shift the hips back. Set the left heel down into your pyramid pose. And then bend into the right knee, left foot meets right foot, forward fold. Halfway lift. Fold forward. Reach up, rise up, arms come up high towards the sky as you inhale, fold as you exhale. All right, halfway lift. Plant the hands this time your right foot comes back, set your right heel down. So you're setting yourself up for your warrior two, but come up on the fingertips first and then take your nice full inhale, rise up and exhale into your warrior two. All right. Slowly guide the left knee straight. Drop the left hand to the inside of the left foot, triangle pose. Yes. All right, as you inhale, reverse triangle. So le left hand comes high, right hand comes to the back of the right thigh. All right, the goal here is not to let the left knee lock, but have a little subtle bend there. All right, here we go. Take a nice full inhale as you exhale, triangle pose. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, triangle. Inhale, reverse. Two more times. Triangle. Reverse. Triangle. Reverse. All right. We'll stay in reverse triangle here. And then I want you to reach the um, crown of the head high towards the sky and look forward. Bring the right arm up as well. 
So now the torso is forward and you're set up for your triangle legs. Then take the left hand, place it on the left hip, right arm stays high. You're coming into a revolved triangle here. So slowly hinge the hips, reach the right arm forward, sternum parallel to the mat, and then bring the right arm to the inside of the left leg. And then you choose how much you wanna revolve over to the left side. Left hand can stay high to the back or to the hip. So keep the spine nice and long. One more big breath here. Then on your next inhale, bring yourself to back up. Right arm reaches high, left arm reaches high. And then bend, bend into the left knee, frame the left foot with both hands. Left foot meets right foot in your plank pose. And then you have a choice to take it through the flow. Meet in downward dog or take a child's pose. All right, downward dog, feet hip distance apart, plant the right foot, lift the left foot high towards the sky, take a nice full inhale, step the left foot to the outside of the left hand here. All right, so both hands are to the inside of the left foot, nice subtle bend into the left knee, and then lower the right knee down onto the mat. So you have this beginnings of a lizard pose. You can stay here if you wish, or come onto forearms. No matter how low you go, I want you to make certain that you're keeping the left foot engaged. If you're totally, um, forearms are onto the mat and you still want a deeper stretch in the right hip, keep the right toes tucked under and lift the right knee. Two more breaths. Last one. And then we'll use this transitional breath to all come back with uh, hands are on the mat in our lizard pose. And then tuck under toes, lift the right leg. Walk your fingertips forward just slightly so you can invite the right foot to the outside of the right hand. And I took a couple of steps to get there. And then slowly come up halfway with the feet still mat with distance apart. And then fold forward, walk the feet hip distance apart. Keep the feet rooted down, reach up, rise up, arms come up high towards the sky, subtle back bend here, fold forward. Halfway lift. This time, plant the hands, left foot steps back, set your feet up for your warrior two, come up onto fingertips. As you inhale, reach the arms up, and as you exhale, find your warrior two looking out over your strong right fingers. And then pull the right hip back. On your next exhale, drop the right hand to the inside of the right leg, triangle pose. Yes, left hand is high towards the sky. And then as you inhale, reverse triangle, left hand back, right hand high. Four more times, triangle on the exhale. Reverse on the inhale. Triangle on the exhale. Reverse on the inhale two more times. Triangle. Reverse. Triangle. Reverse. All right, torso comes 
forward. Left arm meets right arm, looking straight forward. And then left hand stays up high, right hand on the right hip. You'll find your revolve triangle here by hinging forward. And then invite the left hand to the inside of the left foot or the outside. Right arm can come up high to the small of the back or onto the hip. So you take the revolve triangle to wherever it's working for you. All right, slowly and carefully come out. So on the inhale, bring yourself up. Back with arms up high towards the sky. And then as you exhale, frame the right foot, bend slightly into the right knee. Right foot meets left foot, your plank pose. And then carefully take it through your flow. Or meet in downward dog or take a child's pose. Two more breaths. Last breath. And then reach the right leg high towards the sky. Step the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Guide the left knee down and set yourself up for your lizard pose. So you can stay with palms onto the mat, lower onto forearms. If you want something a little sweeter, tuck under the left toes, lift the left knee. Two more breaths. Last breath. And then on this next transitional breath, we'll all meet with palms onto the mat, left knee planted. All right, tuck under the left toes, lift the left knee, walk the fingertips forward, and then step the left foot to the outside of the right hand. Walk fingertips even a little bit more forward so you come up halfway, fold. And then walk the feet hip distance apart. I almost skipped that part. And then reach up, rise up, arms come up high towards the sky and then bring them down to the side. Fingertips reach down, crown the head reaches high. Okay, bring the hands into prayer. Walk the feet out just a little bit, turn the toes out. You'll come into your yogi squat here. So slowly start bending the knees. So you're taking the knees over the toes. And if it's too much on the knees, bring the toes back in and slowly start folding forward, allowing the torso to rest on the thighs. I'm actually gonna take that route because that feels really good actually. Dropping the head. If you're in the yogi squat, dropping the bum, bringing the crown of the head up. Sorry. All right, one more breath here. And then we'll all guide our bums onto the mat. Cool. Um, do an okay on time. Bring the bottoms of the feet together like a book. Come up nice and tall. All right, crown the head reaches high towards the sky. Let's just take um, a few breaths here. And then on your next exhale, slowly start hinging over the legs.
One more big breath. And then just bring yourself up nice and tall. Great. Okay, I want you to bring the, it's gonna be hard to demo this, but trust me on it. Bring the bottoms of the feet together, hug the knees into the chest, and then slowly lower down one vertebra at a time. Okay, extend the left leg long and hug the right knee into the chest. And then take a hold of the back of the right thigh, right leg comes high towards the sky. And I want you to do the same thing here. So keep the left toes pointed up towards the sky, but maybe bring the right toes a little bit closer to the face. And then you can bring them away and then towards the face and then away maybe a few more times. And if you're feeling called to make some ankles circles, you can reverse direction. Okay. Leave the right leg high to the sky, bring the arms out to a T. And then I want you to bend the right knee so the right shin is parallel to the mat. And then place the right foot to the outside of the left knee. Okay. And then I want you to take your nice full inhale. And as you exhale, allow the right knee to fall over towards the left side. Uh, the right hip will lift off. You will be on the left hip. So you get this um, supine twist. And you can leave your left leg long if you would like, or you can take the right hand and reach it towards the left heel, bending the left knee. So it's this cat pulling tail pose, sort of. But you get this nice gentle stretch um, on the outside of the right hip, and then the front of the left hip gets a little lengthening too, plus the bonus of a twist. And then if you want, you can look out over the right shoulder. Two more breaths, friends. All right. Slowly bring the gaze back up, release the left leg long, bring the right hip back onto the mat, right chin parallel, hug the right knee back into the chest. Take the right leg high towards the sky. And then you can take a hold of the right big toe or you can bring the arms out wide and just open up the right leg. Okay. I think I feel good about right here. Don't feel pressure to grab a hold of the foot either, or use a, you could use a strap if you want. I'm just demoing without. And then with the bend into the right knee, bring the right knee into the chest, bring the left knee into the chest, give them a nice squeeze, rock from side to side. And then extend the right leg long here and keep the left knee hugged in. And then invite the left leg to come high towards the sky. Take a hold of the back of the left thigh. Once again, toes can point towards the face and then away. Towards and away. And if you're feeling called to do some circles, you can. In reverse direction. All right, bring the arms out to a T. 
Bend the left knee so the left shin is parallel to the mat. Left toes are up. Right toes still stay up. And then invite the left foot to the outside of the right knee. And then slowly guide the left knee down towards the right side. Stay here in this twist. Um, you can also add a little bit more by bending the right knee. Left hand reaches for the right heel. And then gaze would come out over the left shoulder. Three more breaths here. Two. Last breath. And then we'll use a transitional breath to extend the right leg long. Slowly invite the left hip back down. Left shin is parallel. And then hug the left knee back into the chest. Oh, no. Yeah, hug the left knee into the chest, sorry. And extend the left leg high towards the sky. And then open up the left le leg to the left side. So keep the toes pointed. Just opening up a little bit, giving some length into the, the abductors, the adductors of the hips. And then one more breath. I don't want to rush it, sorry. Slowly and carefully bending the left knee, hug the left knee into the chest. Invite the right knee to be hugged in as well. Nice squeeze, rocking from side to side. And then if you're feeling called to it, you can take a happy baby pose. The inversion I'll invite you to do is waterfall or legs up against the wall, but feel good about doing some happy baby. Um, you can stay in happy baby if that's what you your hips need, but if you're looking for a little more rest, bring the knees in, set the low back onto the mat, legs come high towards the sky, and let the arms rest down to the side. Those who are still in happy baby, you can keep happy baby. And we'll just slowly start dropping back into our mindful cycles of breath if we lost it in the practice. And then wherever you are in your inversion, we'll just take a nice transitional breath here. And then collectively, we'll take a nice full inhale in. Bend the knees, grab, hug the knees into the chest as you exhale. Gently rock from side to side. And then I want you to invite one leg long, invite the other leg long, reach both arms up overhead. Fingertips will reach away from the toe tips. Nice full stretch here. Keep the arms up overhead as you reach just the right fingertips away from the right toes, creating length in the left, right side of the body. Slowly release now just the left side of the body, left fingertips away from the left toes. All right, one more time, full body stretch, right finger, or both sets of fingers away from the toes. 
And then as you exhale, allow the arms to come down to the side, let the toes turn out. And now that you're supine, I want you to imagine that you're taking a nice full inhale and pushing the belly up. And as you exhale, it's like you allow the top of the, the belly to come down and then release the low back down as you exhale. Maybe take a few more breaths like that in that wave. Nice full inhale in, slow steady exhale. Full inhale in, slow steady exhale. Maybe just release the motion and stay with the nice full inhale. And exhale, dropping into your Shavasana pose. Know that I'm minding the time for you and I will call you back. Take a nice full inhale in. Let the belly rise. Slow, steady exhale. Inhale, let the arms come up overhead. Exhale, just release. Full inhale here. Come on to the right side as you exhale. Just stay for a breath or two. And then in your own way, carefully come up into a nice seated pose. Crown the head comes up high towards the sky. Palms rest into the lap. And then reach the arms up high, bring the palms together in prayer. And then bring your prayer to your third eye as a reminder to have loving thoughts. And then to your lips as a reminder to have loving words. And then to your heart as a reminder to have loving actions towards yourself and towards others. The light and love in me acknowledges and honors the light and love in you. Thank you.